Lunch, free breakfast, free food, birthdays, and holidays, all of which has the same denominator, food. Don't deny the fact that Filipinos love eating. However, everybody at one time or another has had the experience of eating food and sometime later becoming sick. This is called food poisoning. I didn't know what to do. I was shocked. was actually contaminated with Staphylococcus. These bacteria are usually found on skin, in sores, throat, nose, saliva, and bowel of humans. There may be many of these bacteria in the yellow mucus which comes from the nose or is coughed up when a person has a cold or lung infection. Staphylococci do not cause illness until they get into food, grow, and multiply. While doing this, they are actually producing a toxin. Now, this toxin is poisonous and can cause illness. Food which has become contaminated with harmful bacteria does not always taste bad. Most of the time, it looks, smells, and tastes like it normally does. It is important to remember that the same food handling practices are used to prevent all food poisoning diseases. Washing your hands with soap and drying them on a paper towel or with a clean cloth is the best way to stop the spread of bad bacteria. Derp, 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 derp,
Doop, <laughs> <laughs>